Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Ryan Reynolds can act. Woman in Gold follows the true story of Maria Altman, a Jewish woman who was forced to flee Vienna when the Nazis came in just before the Second World War. Follows her attempts to get her family portraits back, which the Nazis stole after they left. This film is wonderful for several reasons. Number one, it is an amazing portrayal of what life was like in Nazi-occupied countries before the concentration camps. It shows what the Nazis did to people, how it humiliated them, how it drove them into being second-class citizens. And it does this wonderfully and it's incredibly touching and moving and it's an incredible portrayal of a story that is all too glossed over for the admittedly much more dire concentration camps like Auschwitz. Secondly, my god the acting. Helen Mirren, who I was expecting to be the lead part, the lead acting tour de force in this, is great, don't get me wrong, but her accent is a little off. She tries to do Austrian with a little bit of American in, but unfortunately her natural Britishness kind of shines through in the accent and it's a bit the rest of the cast has no reason to be this good. I mean, this has Ryan Reynolds in a serious role, and he does it wonderfully. I mean, he is perfect for this role. And I didn't think I'd be saying that. It's official. Ryan Reynolds is a good actor. And it's not just Ryan Reynolds. Katie Holmes in this, is in this. And she's really great. I mean, really great. She has a great supporting role as Ryan Reynolds' character's wife. And she does it beautifully she is great I mean again Katie Holmes the woman who we all said was terrible in Batman Begins is really good in this the story is a true life story so I can't critique it that much but the way it's presented on screen is such a wonderful thing it's an amazing film to watch it is a film in the classic traditionalist sense and it's great for that it's a powerfully shot wonderfully made film I mean, there really isn't anything I can say about this else than go see it, like, right now. I mean, literally, go now. I mean, seriously, it's that good. I really thoroughly enjoyed it as a film. I thoroughly enjoyed it as an experience. And I think everybody else will as well. I think if this doesn't go down as one of the all-time great films about... Nazism and anti-Semitism, somebody went wrong somewhere. Because it should. Because it's that goddamn good. Thanks for watching. Next week I'll be reviewing Child 44 with Tom Hardy and Gary Oldman. So if you want to see that, you can click subscribe down there so that you get it as soon as it's out. If you want, you can also click like so that more people see this review when they search for this movie on YouTube. And you can also follow me on social media like the Twitters and the Instagrams. Those are down there too, as always. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.